Hello everybody and welcome to Quest for Creative, episode number I have long since forgot. I don't remember anymore. 15, 16, something like that? I don't remember. In yesterday's episode, we built this genocidal machine here. And look, I got a, I got a, or I got a villager trophy. Yeah. Um, all right. So what, uh, let's go over what I have actually succeeded in doing. Well, I've succeeded in getting 20 emeralds. Now that's been about three days. So we're not exactly building up fairly quickly. I could probably do it faster just by trading with this guy since nine gold ingots make one emerald and uh, we have nine or we have uh, seven golden orberry bushes in there. We probably produce gold faster than you know that's producing emerald. However, that's the manual process and I am one for not doing the manual process. Now, Thing number two, who was it? I think it was this guy over here. Yes, trade jungle barricades with landmines. You get gold ore berry bushes. I'm like, oh, that's great. I could finish off my gold ore berry bushes. Well, there's a problem with that. So we have a couple different landmines. We have landmine, we have landmine. Well, this one interacts with everything. This one interacts with mobs, players, redstone, players and redstone, and redstone only. I believe that is actually how you set it off. I think that's what it's talking about here. And you make it by taking a blank cast, wood planks, redstone, and pressure plates. Well, let's see. Doop. Pressure plates. Over here, I have blank casts. Oop. Uh, in here, redstone, and then wood planks. So, wood planks. But if we put it in, like we said... Oh, am I missing something? Hi, hi baby zombie. Bye, baby zombie. Alright, so let's try this again. So, pressure plate, blank cast, redstone, wood planks. Nothing. But that's exactly how it's made. And, let's see, I looked through this. Jungle, spruce... Uh, pine, bamboo, redwood. Well, it does say spruce. We all saw that it said spruce in there. And I should have some spruce wood around here. Oh, it did say jungle too. But I know it said spruce, so we'll go with that. So, spruce wood, redstone, blank cast, pressure plate. Still nothing. And that's exactly how it's made, but it doesn't work. So, I can't make that trade. I can't use that villager at all because it would appear that the landmines are disabled in this mod pack. And I could guess why. I mean, it's landmines, and you don't want people planting a bunch of landmines and blowing everything up. Um, but if you're going to disable the landmines, wouldn't you have to disable the TNT as well because you can make landmines out of TNT? I, I, I don't... I don't know. Maybe it's just a broken component, not implemented. I have no idea, but I, ca I, I can't get my golden ore berry bushes, and I'm mildly disappointed about that. Oh, well. Anyways, so let's do a little bit of news, kind of-ish. Uh, first things first, uh, I'm going to start putting news up on my G Plus page. Uh, there will be a link at the end of this video for that, so look for it. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm going to put all of my news from now on. So I'm going to be spending, I'm not going to be spending time doing the news at the beginning of every episode. I'm just going to throw it up on G plus because it's easier for me to do when I think about it instead of remembering it, uh, for the beginning of every episode. Uh, f but first things first. I'm not 100% sure how long this series is going to continue. I have gotten to the point where I am crashing this server on a daily basis now. Uh, I didn't even think I was doing that much, but yeah, every single day I'll log in 
and it will just be void. Nothing else, just void, and I will just fall and fall and fall and fall and fall. Well, I log out to try to log back in. Log back, or I go to the multiplayer section, and the server doesn't respond. So, yeah, I have to forcefully stop the server, because I can't gracefully shut the server down. I have to forcefully shut down the server. Yeah, so I have no idea how long this series on this mod pack is going to last i'm going to attempt to keep going i'm going to try as hard as i can to keep going because i don't want to lose all this stuff i put all of this work into it the past several episodes i don't want to lose it so i'm going to try to keep going and you know we'll, we'll just work through the glitches and the problems for a little while uh second piece of news I didn't put out a video day before yesterday because I got really busy all of a sudden. Uh, as I mentioned, my mother came over, so I wasn't one ahead anymore. I was right on the nose. And then uh, we're preparing for a huge migration on our servers at the office. So we were preparing for that yesterday, or not yesterday, day before yesterday, and I didn't have time to do that. Um, this weekend we're actually doing the migration, so there might be an interruption in video service there as well. Hi guys. Uh, but I'm going to try my hardest not to do that. However, I can't promise anything. This is going to be a long drawn out migration. It's going to take a long, long time. And I might just be too burned out to make videos. Uh, next weekend... Uh, actually, Thursday, I have another dentist appointment. They're finally removing my last wisdom tooth. Uh, and it's another one of the ones that are in my jaw. So they're going to have to remove a not insignificant portion of my jaw to get it out. Um, I'll be glad when it's done. But probably for about mm, five to seven days, I'm going to be very much out of it. You all remember when I made the smithy, I was on painkillers at the time. And yeah, it, everything just was a lot slower than it normally is. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to happen again. I'll try to make the videos. I'll probably be in a really good mood and want to make videos. But the quality might dip for a little while. But you know, that's what happens when you're on medication. All right, so now that news is done, at least the news that I can remember, as I said, everything's going to be on G+. You know, the important stuff will be on G+. I probably just... There's probably other things, I just don't remember it. Come on. Don't need you. Don't care. We got another baby villager. Hee <laughs> Are we going to get 21? No, we're not going to get 21. We'll get close, though. What I would like to figure out how to do is set up some form of regeneration for these guys so that if they fall in there, they just keep regenerating. Because <laughs> we gain emerald, emerald goo when they get hurt, not when they die. So if I can figure out how to set up some form of regeneration, well, infinite emeralds, and I don't have to do that would probably be significantly faster. All right, anyway, so today I am solving a problem that has come up because of all of this. Um, and the problem is the lockers of infinity over there, every single last one of them needs one of those chips from uh, Project Red, these guys here. And each one of these needs these Illumar. And each one of those needs dye and glowstone. Well, we already have infinite glowstone. The dye is hard to track down. However, as you can see, we work with these magenta saplings. You know, just the stained saplings. Uh, one thing I did figure out, uh, this setup here that I have for, well, the basic power generation. Um, it, it does work with jungle saplings for the record. I was mildly curious about that, so I threw that in there. 
Plus, that guy in there wanted the jungle barricade, so I needed jungle wood. So it all just kind of fit together. Uh, but anyway, so while the all of the other saplings seem to grow just fine on these uh, fertilized dirt blocks, uh, stained saplings do not. They they don't at all ever. And I tested that. I put a couple of uh, fertilized dirt blocks down place the stained saplings, and then over here, I just placed them on the regular dirt. These ones grew, those ones didn't, and I left them go for like an hour, and they just didn't work. This map is bothering me. Is there a zoom? No, that's not it. Um, that button? No. No. I don't know what that does. If I hit the colon and semicolon button, it like shrinks down like that. I have no idea what the hell that is, or why that is. It looks... I am not 100% sure what the hell I'm looking at with this map. I... I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, so today, what I want to do is actually take this design and modify it ever so slightly to exclusively focus on getting the saplings. So what I have in here is all of the parts that I need to do that, basically all of the parts that we need to make our power source, and then I have all 16 saplings. And I actually expected the green saplings, where are they, these guys, the green stained saplings to be hard to find, but apparently I already had them. And then I went looking for the brown saplings. Well, they look exactly the same as the maple saplings, but they don't show up in the same biome as the maple saplings, so it turned out to not be actually a problem. Uh, the pink ones pissed me off, though, because the pink ones look like the Sakura saplings, the, or the Sakura trees, and yeah, it was just... It was annoying. All right, so let us start with what we always start with. Uh, first, let's pick out where we want to start this. So one, two, three, four, five, one for the harvester, and then I believe two more over, and then I can start the water. Wee. All right, and I keep water in here for just such an occasion. Water, 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 infinite water source. Boop. All right, and then we get our aqueous accumulator, which I just realized I made two of them, and I don't need to. <laughs> Whatever. All right, then I need uh, fluiducts. And there's a reason I'm making it the way I'm making it, because I tested this on a creative world. And it worked, but I had to slightly modify how I made it. Because um, the first way I made it didn't work like it should. So let's get one of our steam dynamos. Basically, there's going to be two sides to this thing. One side is going to do eight of the saplings. The other side is going to do the other eight of the saplings. So let's build this one at a time. So let's see. I need that guy. Uh, we'll grab one of each two of these upgrades and we'll just grab the that stuff a couple of chests and a couple of hoppers and a redstone furnace Alrighty. so since we are not worrying about powering anything else with this system i can just plunk down an energy cell there and a steam dymo all right, so now we have the steam dynamo, sty, dy, this guy with water going straight into a hardened energy cell. And then I will take a redstone furnace, sit it, yeah, right here, and set it up to output power there so that this thing will get power when we need it. All righty. Uh, let's see, item ducts, go there there and then a hopper on top Bloop. for uh, all of the charcoal 
and then just a block on top of it so I don't have to worry about things falling in. I do, however, have to worry about mobs, so I'm going to go take a nap real quick. I feel mildly like I'm cheating making this video because, I mean, it's something I've done, like, well, let's see, three other times in this series is make this, this uh, generator that I have. But this needs to be done. It's something very important to continue making the making this series because I need those red or project red things, the the chips for the pipes. I need those. So I kind of have to do this. But I do feel kind of like I'm cheating because I mean, we've done this before, like a bunch of times before already. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do, let's see. We want output on top, so make you go away, make you go away, make you go away. You need to be off top. And then I want input. I actually want input on the back. I'm going to try and make this as compact as possible. And then we'll take another hopper, put you there. Uh, where is my... There it is, crescent hammer. And make you go away because I don't care about you. You are up. And that should be all I have to do there. All right, so that is basic power generation. Now we have to get the f fuel source, which will be, let's see, one, two, here. Do I want to start it here? Yes, two, three, four, five. I originally thought I could do this all with one, uh, one planter. It it won't let me. I have to be able to uh, tell it to use the planter like it should. Uh, it will only let me control nine objects, not all of them. A little disappointing, but oh well. It's just things we have to work around, just like most of the stuff that we do. Wee! The shovel's amazing. All right, and then we take our planter, put it down dead center, which I believe is right here. Yay! And the harvester goes here. All right, and our chest goes here. Now, obviously, we know the har the chest is going to be this or um. Everything that the harvester is going to pick up is going to go thro get thrown into the chest. Then the saplings will get pushed right back into the planter. Flip that around. We do need a pneumatic servo this time. And for right now, I'm going to set that to whitelist and ignore it. So it's active, but it won't pull anything because we have nothing in the whitelist list. So that's fine. We're going to leave that there for right now. And then here, we're going to have eight of the saplings. So I'm going to block off the other eight ports so nothing can go in them. Ooh. Uh, we want to turn off consume stack because I want to make sure that it doesn't take all of the saplings. I want to make sure all of them go where they need to go. Then we will grab eight of our saplings. It doesn't really matter which ones you want unless you're, unless you're anal retentive and you want to you know, place these where they need to go. Uh, that's your preference. You know, it's all good. And then basically what you do is you put all eight in here. Now, if we just leave it right now as is ooh, with its upgrade, it will only plant the stuff in, in order. Like it'll plant all eight light blue and then it'll move on to the gray and so forth. So what we have to do is tell it that we want to do it in an order. Now, don't ask me to explain how this stuff works. I'm not 100% sure. But what I do know is that you want to set it up like this and leave the center one blank. Uh, it just works better. You get more distribution. And it just, you know, works. I'm going to take those out real quick so we can set up our whitelist. Let's see. I need an empty hand to do that. And I did this before... 
by actually just waiting for the sapling to come into the chest. You know, it, it, it works that way, but it's not needed. If you have the saplings, may as well set it up. All right, so this planter is already set up and ready to go. Uh, then I need to open this up so we can get power to everything. Bloop. All righty. All right, so that will be our source of power, which will actually go right across here. in there all right so now we will pull power off of the hardened energy cell for all of the equipment in here and of course as y'all remember we have to dig down a ways to deal with the sludge boiler oh this needs dug down too because the sludge boiler causes poison yay far enough uh, let's go like two more I don't remember how far you have to go down. But this will work. Boop. And then item duct. Up. Whee. Then we need hardened energy cell. We need power to connect to this up here. Yay. And then we need a fluid duct. to connect to our harvester. All right, now I figured this out. Um, don't have your fluid duct set up this way as like it's set to an output because it won't work. You probably would need to put in a pneumatic servo into it to make it work that way. Um, just leave it like this. It will automatically push the sludge out and down into the harvest or down into the sludge boiler. So don't worry about that. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do? Can I get down there? No, I cannot. Crap. Speaking of pneumatic servos, we need to set a pneumatic servo in here so we automatically, so we can actually output all of the stuff that the sludge boiler makes. But I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, we've made it, what, a dozen times already? All right, and then we just take our dirt. Oh, but I do have to do one more thing. Um, let's see, this is going to be the output chest. So then the chest is, yeah, so that's where all the stuff that we're gonna be generating makes, or sits. Uh, then we take our uh, duct pipe, the item ducts, and just wrap them around the planter. That way, all of the saplings will go into the planter first, but if they can't go into the planter, they'll go into this chest here, and we'll know they're free. And later, uh, when we actually get the parts we require, like the magenta trees, uh, then we can make the chips we need and add them to the lockers of infinity, which will be cool, because I can't do that anymore. I'm out of, I'm out of the chips. <laughs> All right. And then we just cover this over. Mm. And we do want to remember to put the upgrade in the harvester as well. All right, so last thing we need to do, and this is not going to be terribly, terribly easy because I don't have source blocks at the moment. Let's see, how many do I have in here? Uh, spruce, that'll work. Do I have ooh, jungle? I have oak. Do I have birch anywhere? Birch, yes, birch. Okay, so we're gonna end up with four different types of logs because the stained saplings can be any of the vanilla logs. Uh, oh, you're pointing in the wrong direction. No, I need you to go in there. Okay, thank you. Uh, I set up a hopper to go into the redstone furnace instead of having the item duct goes directly into the redstone furnace because what I'm going to do is put in a pneumatic servo and set up a whitelist for all four of these different types of wood. 
That way, all four of the wood can go into the hopper to power the redstone furnace to power the steam dymo. That way, we don't have to worry about running out of wood. Because that was one of the that was definitely one of the things I had a problem with in the test world was that I only had it so that the oak wood would come out, but I couldn't get enough oak wood to power to keep powering the system. Um, so that's why I changed this up a little bit, and this why it looks like you know looks like it does. And it does look a bit odd, but it works. And we can see that if I throw some power in here. And eventually, this will start doing its thing. Yeah, we'll just crank these up since we're not worried about outputting a specific source. Uh, let's see. We're getting power here. Uh, we're getting power here. It's slow because we're just generating the steam, or just generating for the first time. And you know what? I've played with every single one of these engines, and every single one of them outputs 80 RF. And there we go. I mean, we got our first tree. It is magenta, the exact one I want. Uh, but since we don't have that much power built up yet, we aren't going to, um, I mean, it's going to be slow going until we generate power. Um, and this thing's already working on a spruce. And then it's going to give us charcoal here to go into the steam dymo. So now we have a loop. All right. And we can also see that, I mean, it's not very well dispersed. Bloop. But it disperses significantly better than it did before uh, it did in my test realm. Because in my test realm, if I just let it be random, the center guy was uh, just a yellow stained sapling. And all of the other colors were just wrapped around it. And the center never grew. Never grew. So I never got any, any of that color. And it was kind of annoying. But, I mean, those that's what we do. Alrighty. And then from here, what I've got to do somehow. Yeah, I think we're going to do this this way. Uh, just to be sure, we will set this one to vacuum. Now, what setting this to vacuum does is that if there's a junction, which I'm going to put a junction right here, it will pull to that side first. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem at all, but I'm making absolutely sure because I am going to add an item duct there. All right, and then what will happen is if the hopper is full, and it will be full eventually, I don't know how long it's going to take, but it will be full eventually, uh, all of the wood can go down and to our output over there. Hi, Mr. Zombie. Whoop, I fell down a hole. Come on. There you go. Ugh, zombie flesh. I have enough zombie flesh. I don't need any more. Yay. Um, yeah, so once we overflow with wood, we'll get wood in the chest. Once we overflow with saplings, we'll get saplings in the chest. Uh, we'll also get all the stuff that's coming out of the sludge boiler down there in the chest. So we'll have a lot of things in the chest. And it will be really cool. And that guy has a cheese hat. Oh, and he gave me iron. Is that all you were going to do? You weren't going to attack me. You were just coming my way to give me iron. How thoughtful of you. Too bad you are now dead. All right. And then from here, as you saw, we only did eight. Um... So what we've got to do is basically repeat the process on the other side, except we don't need the aqueous accumulator because we're going to be using that one right there. Uh, put that down. We will set you on that side. I've done this a couple of times. So I, it's kind of easy for me to, whoa, hi, to do this kind of stuff because I'm dyslexic. Uh, I see the world backwards. So just duplicating this over here in in like a mirror is easy for me. Let's see redstone. Yeah, let's see how often how much I screw that particular comment up. Go away. Maybe I should have built a fence around this place. I was thinking about building a fence around it. I just didn't. Let's see steam dymo. 
You go there. We got water. Good. Uh, let's see. Hopper. One goes there. The other goes there. I'm going to put a piece of dirt on you so I don't have to worry about things falling in. But you should be fine because that is there. The item ducked. What the hell? What? How? <laughs> How the hell did a zombie get up there? <laughs> well, it was kind of weird. Um, I was, you know, over here looking at this, and I heard a zombie. I'm like, it's the middle of the day. Where the frack's a zombie? Is there one underneath here? No, nothing was underneath here. Apparent. I had forgotten to put a torch inside the room, and... Uh, a zombie spawned and killed the villager inside. <laughs> I'm like, oh, um, oops. Oh, well. Let's see, how much charcoal do we have so far? None. Oh. Yes, because the trees haven't grown. I might have to give that another bump in power. But if I do, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Bloop. Oh, hi. Go away. Go away! Maybe I should go to sleep <laughs> instead of dealing with these freaking zombies. Uh, hardened wrench stone. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and then I started right here. Where is my shovel? There's my shovel. My diamond axe, or my diamond shovel of shoveliness. Five. One more. And yeah, like I said, I'm just duplicating on the other side what we did on that side over there. Fairly straightforward at this point. I mean, I could probably just build this thing and skip to it. That would probably be the best idea since, you know, we already did it. We already covered it. I'm just duplicating it. All right, so I will see you in a moment. And I'm back, and I finished my mirrored project over here. I haven't turned it on yet because I wanted to turn that on with you guys. But first things first, there was a slight little glitch. Uh, so there was a little bit of a change to the design. And that actually originated right here with the uh, vacuum pipe that I set up. Uh, I don't have that set up anymore because it sucked up everything. Uh, the saplings would go down, and then they would come up here. The uh, All the stuff from the sludge boiler would go up through that pipe and go that way along the T instead of to the chest. So everything would end up in the hopper, except for the stuff that I needed to be in the hopper, uh, like the wood. <laughs> so I took that out. Still had the problem, though. Uh, the saplings would hit that junction down there and then come up this pipe and go into the hopper. I'm like, crap, okay, what the hell's going on? Uh, so what I found out I have to do, I had to set up an input whitelist for this uh, duct. So I had to use another pneumatic servo. Um, not really a big problem. Um, I mean, it works. I did not have to kickstart this thing again. It had enough power saved up from before, from the day before, that it just worked. So, uh, it, I mean, it's gaining power. It's not going to be a problem. This is completely self-sufficient. Um, let's plunk down a dirt block there. There we go. All right, so this one should also be self-sufficient. I made the same exact change here as I did over there. So this should work uh, once I put power into the system. And to do that, all I really have to do is take some charcoal. What the hell? Clay and bricks. Right, because the clay and the mud were coming up from over there instead of where they were supposed to. So now we're getting charcoal in here. All right, so let's grab a little bit of charcoal out of this one and put it in here. And the first thing we should start seeing, let's see, we're gaining power, we're gaining power, and we're starting to plant. Alrighty, and we're doing a pretty good job. 
Um, I don't know what's up with the light gray. Why the rest of the light gray didn't plant, but whatever. Um, I might have to dump down and take a look at that real quick. Let's see. No, not that button. That button. Turn into a bat so I can fit in the one by or one size block. Uh, it's because I don't have that much in the way of light gray. That's my problem. But once the light gray tree grows, I'll gain more saplings. And it did exactly what I wanted to wanted it to do. It, it did not consume the stack. That way we don't have to worry about one running out and another one taking its place and totally screwing with everything. So this did exactly what I wanted to do. Over here, it's working swimmingly. Uh, if we dive down into here, boop, uh, I mean, okay, we don't have that many yellow, we don't have that many orange, but we're building up on the white and the magenta, and I care about the magenta. Uh, light blue's doing pretty good. We have more saplings already than we did previously. So the system is working. I don't know how evenly it will work. Hey, you're working too. Awesome. Just gotta wait for you guys to build up your power. I mean, that one's already built up enough that it's not gonna notice, but I gotta wait for this to build up its power. And I mean, it works. Uh, yeah, so that's great. That's cool. I will let you guys know in the next episode how well it works. Um, as I said, I've not connected it to the Lockers of Infinity yet, but that will add another, let's see, 20 lockers to the lockers of infinity because we're going to have one for each die and then one for each type of wood and as loud as it is this is just going to run because that's all it needs to do it just needs to run and it's not going to stop like these ones do like that guy does because it doesn't have any other purpose other than gathering these items so eventually it will stop unless I keep clearing out that chest or until I connect it to the Lockers of Infinity system because the Lockers of Infinity system have an output. So if we fill up on one thing, it just outputs and dumps. So yeah, there we go. Uh, whoop, turn back into me. And yeah, it's just going to take a little while, but it will eventually do its thing, and it will do exactly what we want it to do, and I am quite happy with this build. All right, well, let's back off here where it's a little less annoying, though we hear those guys. And, you know, I guess I just got to wait for Mr. Light Gray to actually grow. I might just coax it along by using some bone meal, uh, just so we can get more gray in there, and then we can even out how much we create... Um, so, I mean, there we go. We got infinite die now that we can make all the stuff that we need to make. And I guess we're good. So I'm going to say, as always, see you in the next episode and keep playing the game and have fun. Mm -hmm.